All right, so in this video, I wanted to talk about the mole balance for a batch reactor. So batch. And in the previous video, I derived the general mole balance for, uh, <coughs> for, for reactor design. So I'll just write that down real quick. So we had FJ naught whatever's flowing in, minus Fj, whatever's flowing out, plus the integral of V, Rj, dV, whatever's being generated inside the reactor, equals d n j dt. So whatever's accumulating with time. So if you think about a batch reactor, you know that there's nothing flowing in or out. You just have this. So right away you can see that this term is zero and this term is zero. So you're left with d and j dt equals rj dv. And then looking at this, if you know, you can make another assumption. If you know that this is perfectly mixed, so basically the rate isn't a function of position because everything's perfectly mixed, then you can pull this out of the integral. So then you, you end up with, well, this can be, this can turn into this because you pull rj out and then this is what you're left with. And so then you, so then you can rewrite this as dt equals d n a. Well, okay, and I, I also kind of switched the j to an a. So assuming that you have a reaction that looks like this, let's just assume that we're looking at a. So dt d n a. R A over V. And then we can integrate with the following limits. We want to integrate from T equals zero. Uh, so at T equals zero, N A equals N A naught. So whatever you have. So at T equals zero, N A, the amount of A that you have is what you had at zero. So nothing has occurred yet. So, and then at t equals t1, whatever time you choose to be the end or to integrate to, then n a equals n a1, so whatever, at time one. I mean, that could be any time you choose, really, but. <clears throat> so then applying this, you end up with t1 equals Na1 to Na0 dNa over negative R AV. So that's your mole balance for a batch reactor. And this makes sense because you're, you, what you need for a batch reactor is the time required for your particular reaction. So this is what you can calculate here is the time. Thanks.